am nobody special. I am but one of an estimated one million people in the United States with a degenerative brain disease known as Parkinson's. Every year, 60,000 newly diagnosed men and women will join us on this journey. Parkinson's is a disease with symptoms as individual as the person who lives with it. Many patients exhibit tremors or shaking of their limbs. I have no tremors, but often have difficulty walking. I struggle with something called freezing gait. The first drug prescribed by my neurologist after I was diagnosed was carbidopa levodopa. This drug temporarily replaces the neurotransmitter dopamine that my body no longer produces in sufficient quantities. My symptoms disappeared. I was happy and in denial. That was 10 years ago. Over time, new symptoms appeared and different drugs were prescribed. The denial of my illness faded into acceptance. Not just acceptance, determination. I took ownership of my illness and jumped feet first into the volunteering for the Parkinson's disease community. I soon discovered that when one door closes, another opens. I have spent many gratifying days working with researchers at the National Institutes of Health in Bethesda, Maryland, and even more time here in Philadelphia, collaborating with the neurologists and researchers at the University of Pennsylvania. I think neuroscience is essential. We are in a golden age of brain research. Advances in imaging, big data collection, and analysis enable researchers to study brain function more clearly. New discoveries are emerging. We may be on the cusp of a cure. With a lot of hard work and a little luck, we can, for the benefit of individuals and society in general, be Parkinson's free. In my day-to-day -day existence, you see, life goes on. People rely on me to pull my share of the load. After all, I'm still a parent, a husband, a son, and a friend. Sometimes I think, I am sick. Why won't they leave me alone? Just when I want to give up and fade away, love knocks and another door opens. So today, I will get up and do the next thing, whatever the next thing is. Tomorrow, I will do the next, next thing. Ultimately, it is love and hope that sustain me. A person with Parkinson's must move to keep moving.